Uh, my name is Chris Range. I'm a nurse and an Orthodox layman from Tennessee in the United States of America. And this is my fifth visit here to St. Irene's Orthodox Mission, a primary school and orphanage here in central Kenya, in Kinangop at the foot of the Aberdare Range. I'm here with Father Constantino Seliut, who is Father in Charge and the uh, rector of this organization uh, here. We're standing in the main courtyard of the school facility and we will be beginning a tour of the entire school compound from this area. From here we are beginning because this is where St. Irene's began right here just with these wooden schoolhouses and these are the, I think the oldest structures that are here. They're still in use and this is an area definitely that we want to do an upgrade to. But we felt we would begin the tour here so you can see the need. Um, we shouldn't be regarding these as permanent classrooms because they're just simple wooden structures with a dirt floor. Uh, when I first visited St. Irene's um, three years ago, I started supporting you five years ago, Father, but yeah. when I first visited three years ago, uh, most of this property was rented and now a good deal of the property is owned by the mission and so there's progress in that area. We'll see some other progress as we continue on today. But uh, as we say, uh, when we first came here, this area was just rented. Now it is owned. Um, this is the site where the permanent school would be built. So we need to come up with some sort of an interim plan uh, for that to occur. As you can see, the children are having fun playing behind us. <laughs> and uh, that's what we want them to do, is to have fun and enjoy and to learn. It's all about the kids here at St. Irene's. Uh, but we've begun our tour here just so that you can see how simple these buildings are uh, in the play area that's over here uh, in the foreground. So imagine yourself uh, going to school in a little wooden shed like this with a dirt floor. Um, it would be very hard to learn. That's something we want to change. And that's why we began uh, the tour here from this spot. Oh Lord, save your people and bless your inheritance, granting unto our rulers victories over foreign enemies. And by your cross preserving your Blessing. 